it's me Sydney and welcome back to my channel today I'm coming back to you with another college video I know you guys have been asking for them but like if you guys don't give me something to talk about I don't know what you want me to talk about but then I realized I get a ton of DMs um, especially recently like the past week I've been getting so many freaking DMs that are like Sydney how do you deal with the first week of college like not freaking out number one not getting sick enjoying yourself all of those types of things so like m the main question i get is like how do you deal with the first week of college and like being in a different place like all of that stuff like what did you do so we're gonna start with that so we're gonna go specifically using asu as an example for all of this but like most colleges are very similar um i would personally expect a lot of the same things because all colleges that are like a university unless it's community college is going to probably have like a similar layout like this so we're going to do the first two weeks, actually, because I feel like the first two weeks is the most important when it comes to this experience. So first things first, before you even get into college, right before you're going to move in, um, number one, check your move in date if you're living in the dorms. Number two, check and see if they've sent you any emails, because at least at ASU, they send you emails with like an entire schedule for that week of things that are going on. And I would say, first of all, figure out how to make that work, because you move in usually a week before or two weeks before you start classes. And they have so many things planned like look like if you want to do stuff walk outside of your dorm and there's probably like a table or a stand with games or you know like they do a lot of activities they have nights where they uh in the dorms will have like uh bingo night or party night or like they just or like a dance party on your floor like it's crazy what they actually do at asu so and these are like facilitated by the cas and ras um, and the housing association. So like if you are worried about getting involved I would definitely say first thing you need to do is see if they're emailing you make sure that you are getting emails from your uh, college And the other thing too is don't be afraid go into it knowing that you are amazing You are kind you are caring you are compassionate and you are someone people want to be friends with if you feel like you are someone that is not gonna have friends or you feel like you're not worth it to have friends take that out of your mind right now because honestly insecurities are going to get the best of you you're going to see girls that are extremely beautiful talking to like a guy that you think is attractive or you're going to see other girls you want to be friends with but you're like maybe they don't want to talk to me because you know you still have that high school mentality like going into college and coming out of your first year you will be a completely different person but going into it like one of the biggest things for me is i had to realize that people want to be my friend people don't want you to be friendless in college like you're gonna find a group that clicks with you even if the first amount of people that you meet are like not your best friend it's still like a good way to meet other people you'll meet their friends so like honestly if i were you when you're standing in line waiting for something waiting to move in talk to the people next to you um the other thing too is when you're moving into the dorms like talk to the people in line that are moving in too make sure you say hi to the people that are living across from you around you on your floor you usually have a floor meeting where you all introduce each other and um make sure that your roommate and like you get along with the roommate that you have and if they are starting to make friends like link up be friends with those people because you never know what's going to happen um personally for me it took me a month to really make friends and if i would have gone to more of the events i really feel like it would have changed myself like i was at downtown phoenix campus and tempe has so many more things if you guys are at all worried about getting involved like downtown had a ton of stuff going on but like tempe is like a whole new world level and you can go to all of the tempe events like you don't need to stay at your campus yes it helps because then you're going to meet people that are on your campus but like you can go anywhere you want and make friends the other thing too is a lot of frats host parties and um they go crazy the first two weeks of school because you don't have class yet so if i were you i would try to like get involved and like maybe dm a frat instagram or um find a guy that is wearing a frat shirt talk to him get to know him <laughs> ask if you can get a shag shirt from him without shagging him like literally just make conversation with people and don't be too afraid to to just put yourself out there the other thing too is so within the first two weeks there's tons of events you're not going to sleep as much it's all new you really don't have class the first two weeks and it's not usually hard things but something i would definitely say is like get yourself in order find a kind of routine like your life is going to be in total upheaval the first two weeks you are going to feel like you're sleeping at summer camp biggest thing for me is like my mom i would wake up at like eight 
in the morning and I usually wake up at six, but like I felt like I was at summer camp. I literally would wake up and I'd be like, is this real? Am I laying in my dorm bed or am I at summer camp? And um, it's all gonna feel so new. And then after the first month, it'll feel like more, you'll be more used to it, but you're gonna be busy. You're not gonna be getting as much sleep. You're gonna be meeting a ton of new people and talking in random rooms. But like the biggest thing is like Snapchat is super big in college. And I would definitely say, that the best way to make friends and keep friends is by adding them on Snapchat and making sure to Snapchat them. And I know that sounds weird, but like if you send them a Snapchat saying, hey, you wanna eat in the dining hall with me? Like most of the time, those people will wanna eat in the dining hall with you because you don't like to eat alone. And if you see other people, sit and eat with them, talk to them, especially the first two weeks, it's like an easy way to make friends. And then when you get into classes after like the end of the second week, that's when you wanna like start saying, hey, do you wanna like do homework together? Do you wanna, can I get your number for class stuff? And then you become friends with people. So if I were you, that's like the first thing I would do. The other thing is I would highly invest in sleeping. So this is something that like everyone says, I watched it in a ton of videos when I was going to college and I was like, no, like sleep's fine. I will get my sleep. I'm telling you right now, you guys, I got sick so often in the dorms and that's because you're not, getting the proper sleep you're around a ton of other people with their own germs and it's a ton of people like in my dorm there was so many people living there my floor had over like a hundred people i think living maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm exaggerating maybe 50 people on my floor which is like an insane amount of people thinking that my building has 14 floors and you know people have their friends and so it's just like a ton of people that are in your building that are touching the elevator buttons and if I were you I would get emergency I would get um, just like basic things like NyQuil, DayQuil stuff like that because you're gonna start getting sick and you're gonna want to combat that as fast as possible another thing is airborne drink your water take airborne take emergency live off of that before you start to feel sick like the moment you are in the dorms you should already be taking that stuff because like your body is going to need it you're gonna get sick so often make sure you're washing your hands and i know that like it's weird to say that because you should be washing your hands after the bathroom but like if you are doing things and you're like super busy all night like run to the bathroom wash your hands before you eat so you're not like eating the germs or anything and try to keep your nutrition decent because one thing that i've noticed is like now that i've moved back home my immune system is back up i've been eating way better um and I've been sleeping so much better. So like if you're if you struggle with sleeping and stuff and you're someone that's on your phone all night long, like the first two weeks is going to be the most it like new. It's gonna be so exciting. You're not gonna wanna sleep. You're gonna think you're in summer camp. You are gonna probably be partying um, because you don't have class. Like, what are you gonna do anyway? Um, you're gonna be going to events, they have Taylor Fest, they have like other they have other things too. And they have so many things that are going on, like um, the FDFC or the SDFC, which is the Sun Devil Fitness Complex. They host like an event there to like welcome you, and then they have like a game night, and they have they just have like a ton of things. Like if I went through my email, I would have been able to tell you a lot more. But then also like you have friends that you meet on the groups on like Facebook, Group Me, um. If you meet people on snapchat and you make a group chat and then there's also the schools app which is how you meet people from devil to devil so like if you guys are on asu devil to devil meeting those people during the first two weeks is awesome um i actually just recently met someone that i've been talking to on devil to devil like last year last summer and we finally met up and it was so awesome because like you know these people but like until you make the effort to meet them that's why i say meet them within the first two weeks so you actually have friends like you're gonna meet a lot of awesome people. Make sure you get their Snapchat, make sure that you, um, y you know, make an effort because when, when you go from being in your high school where you've grown up with these people for four years, like there are so many more people at ASU or at whatever university you are, there are literally so many people. And you're gonna make a ton of new friends, you're gonna find people, you're gonna start being like, okay, this other person wasn't really someone I wanna hang out with all the time, they don't have the same like, goals or morals or whatever like when when school starts up and people are partying every weekend and like maybe you have to study like you want to have different types of friends you want to have friends that you can study with party with or both 
Um, but you want to find people that you can do things that you like to do with because if you're sitting around just like studying alone and you want to be social like find those people before school even starts so that then when school starts you can text them and say hey come downstairs to the starbucks below the dorm and study with me and like that was probably one of the best things i ever did because like i had friends that i made and then they had friends and then we all came together and we had like this cute group and like we never really partied honestly like my first year i was a little bit of a bum but like one of my friends she partied a lot for a semester and I'm gonna tell you right now she also got sick a ton and I got sick a lot but I was like being super social other ways in the sense of like I was studying I was up all night with my friends in my room like studying and we were just like hanging out talking until like two so it was one of those situations where it's like it's like you're, you're still not sleeping and you should and then you wake up at six and you're like wondering why you're getting sick and also your diet is not the best like you're not drinking as much water so if I were you, take the advice from me and just make it an amazing year. Realize that you are worth the people that you're meeting and the friends that you're meeting. Like you, you are someone they want to be friends with. So put yourself out there. Make sure that you take precautions to keep your immune system up. Wash those hands because that is like, a, like be hygienic, I guess. Is that, an, that another thing I'm going to say? Like buy some Lysol wipes, wipe shit off every week. Keep it clean because when you are getting sick you're gonna realize like oh I haven't cleaned in a whole month maybe I'm getting sick because someone threw up in my toilet last week that had the flu when I thought they had like alcohol poisoning so if I were you I would just be aware of those things put yourself out there keep your immune system up and know that like this is your home for the whole year and the and the next four years or however long you are there just know that like wherever you're at you need to be okay with it and make friends and like put yourself out there and don't get upset or worried if you don't make friends the first two weeks because i thought i had friends the first two weeks but like they weren't the people i clicked with for the whole year that it took me about a month to find those people but if i were you i would just put yourself out there people are going to come and go and you're going to obviously here's another thing too don't fall in love with the first person that you meet because otherwise you will end up like me where the whole first month and a half i was like oh my god i can't go to the gym because this guy that i had a thing with goes to the gym oh my gosh you know like you just have to you're gonna be surrounded by guys that are attractive you're gonna be surrounded by girls that are attractive and at the end of the day like if you are struggling if you're someone that like likes people and you like to hook up like have fun with it just try not to get attached because a lot of people are not in that same mindset they just want to have fun they are ready for some fun they've never spread their wings before so, I mean, that's the best advice I can give you. Like, don't get attached very easily. Just kind of, like, let let, let it flow. Let it ride. And, uh, yeah. Honestly, I hope this helps you out with your prep for college. Also, don't stress out. Stress is literally going to make you sick faster than anything else. And if you're stressing out over things, it's not going to help you. It's not going to change anything. So, I mean, that's my best advice for you if you're, like, already stressing out about it. Just don't stress out and know that it'll all work out it'll all be okay it's not the end of the world and i know that that's something that's really hard when you go from high school mentality to college like the the amount of change that i experienced the first year like i literally felt like everything was the end of the world yet not the end of the world at all and yeah so like i would just keep that in mind but yeah like write down these significant things that happen through your first year and good luck i love you guys so much like i really hope all of you guys have an amazing first two weeks and an amazing freshman year and if you're watching this and you are transferring in from community college i hope that your junior year is absolutely amazing like i hope that your whole college experience is awesome and i really hope that this video helped you and if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i have a ton of other college videos if you have any specific ones you guys want to see let me know in the comments down below because i love making them i just I don't know what you guys want to see because I'm like, okay, I can't vlog a day in the life right now for college. So I just kind of like sit around and do nothing, but I love doing these and I don't have any dorm halls, obviously. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe like a school supplies for college hall or some shit like that. I really don't know. But with that being said, I'm just going to end the video here. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babe.